All right, so hello. I've been looking at film cameras recently. I don't know why. I think it's just I was just taking some photos with my main camera, and then I was like, I take photos, put them on my computer, edit them, and then put them on Instagram. And then I feel like it just takes so much like time and effort, I guess, to take a photo that sometimes I just want like old school photos where it's just like in the moment, candid type photos. In my head, those photos look like film camera photos. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go try to find a film camera in a thrift store so that way I could take some candid photos. So I'm looking around for some local thrift shops and I think there are a few, but I don't wanna go there if it's not like worth my time. So I think I'll call those that are nearby. Hello, thank you for oh. calling the mustard market. Please leave a message and someone will try to return your call as soon as possible. Return my call? I don't want to return my call. Thank you for calling before this is Odie, how can I help you? Hi, uh, I was wondering if you guys also sell like uh, film cameras? No, we only do accessories, jewelry, and um, clothing. Okay, so I got a few places. Time to... Time to head out. In the car. Best case scenario, I find the camera. Worst case scenario, I just use like a film camera that I have at home. That's worst case. So hopefully we find the cam a camera. But I mean, I don't know how thrift shopping works. So if this is like something you rarely do when you're buying, going thrifting, like going and trying to find something at a thrift store, then uh, whoops, I shouldn't have done this. But otherwise, we'll just we'll just go along and then we'll see how uh, how everything works. So the first place is that place that I called on the phone and uh, they said leave a message. It's called a um, mustard market. It has like farmer's markets on the weekends and so it looks nice, but I've never been here before. So we'll go try it out. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna go to Goodwill, which is a pretty normal thrift store, I guess. So we'll go there next. Cool. I don't know if they have film cameras. Okay, so Mustard Market, pretty cool. They had more accessories and clothes than like other items. So time to go to another thrift store, maybe somewhere with more items or maybe a bigger thrift store. Place number two, Goodwill. Goodwill, there it is. All right, let's see if they have anything. Oh, they got weights here. Look at the TI-84. TI-83. Well, doesn't work. All right, uh, we're done with this first Goodwill and there's apparently this place called Rare by Goodwill, which is like a different type of Goodwill store with like rare stuff, more for like collectibles maybe. So uh, there's like a bunch of thrift stores all like close together. There's like a Salvation Army, Rare by Goodwill, and then Goodwill Normal. And uh, they're all like nearby, but they're all like two miles away. So we're gonna drive there now. If you ever wondered what uh, paving the road looks like, it looks like this. It makes the road satisfying to drive on, but while they're doing it, it's like a huge inconvenience because people are driving on, like there's only two lanes now. And I'm pretty sure back there, there's like a intersection that they marked off, but people just drove over the newly painted road. So there's like now tire tracks on the newly paved road. So I don't know what's going on. This might take a while. Look at them, they're like tossing the, tossing the asphalt. Look at that. Oh my god, there's an ambulance trying to get through. Oh no. Oh, look at the road now. It's all oh, marked. Oops, I can go now. They don't have it here. All right, so nothing at their Salvation Army, but I am excited to go to this rare by Goodwill. So let's go there. That's where we're going next. 
this road right here is what I think people think of when they think of California. It's just palm trees just all over where you're driving. That's, that's what people think California looks like. All right, we are here and this is by far the fanciest looking thrift store I've ever seen. Look at it. Doesn't that not look like a thrift store? It's got glass, looks like a greenhouse. Okay, so, um, okay, one second. Rare is actually a lot smaller than I thought. It's basically this small Goodwill. I don't know what stands out about it other than it had a record player. After going to a few of these, I feel like it's basically impossible for me to find a camera, much less a film camera. Thrift stores are like pretty well walked around. Like there's a lot of people in there. So if it's gonna be like a Goodwill, a lot of people are gonna be in there. If they have a camera, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna take it. So I will have to look for places that are less well known because the possibility of someone dropping off like a random box of stuff is higher. So this was a smaller store and uh, my theory is going better because there was cameras in here. But I asked the guy who owned it, It's uh, he said that there wasn't that much like Polaroid and stuff like that because uh, they go away real quick, like people buy them up real quick. So I asked and he said there was a Anaheim thrift store that's near here. He said that that's a bigger store, so I'll go check that out. Quick stop, I didn't even realize, but there's a Goodwill right here. So on the way, so I'm just gonna go check this out. We are here at the other thrift store. It is a packed lot, so I feel like it's gonna be full. That's the biggest non-Goodwill thrift store I've ever seen. But it was mainly clothes, not that many electronics. So, it's a bust. We might have to do plan B. So what I learned from all these thrift stores, if you want to buy anything that involves like weights or sports equipment or clothes, <laughs> thrift stores are fine. I think the local ones are best. Goodwill is basically like a target, so specialty items like pots and pans or like special cups and mugs and all that. Goodwill is okay, but local thrift stores are best. For cameras like this, like film cameras, it might actually be best to go to garage sales, not thrift stores. Because in the thrift store, there's like people that are there, I feel like since like the morning. They're just there, just constantly browsing thrift stores, finding things. And I'm pretty sure people go to thrift stores to buy like items and flip them. So it's unless you go like at like 7 a.m. when they first open, I don't think I'll get anything from thrift stores. So that's what I learned. That's great and all, but how about my uh, film camera? What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna go home. Okay, we're home now. So good news and bad news. We're gonna do good news first because the bad news is related to the good news. So the good news is we got ourselves a film camera. Found this old camera in uh, in the house. Look how beat up it is. Can you can you see that clearly? Look how thick it is. It's kind of small, I guess. It fits behind my phone. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the main difference is this is a 38 millimeter lens to 140, which means that it goes from here. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so that's the good news. I have a camera. Bad news is. Uh, it costs a lot of money. So I bought basically a battery and then two packs of film and then the total was $31. Every time I want to shoot with this, like 36 shots with this, it'll take $20 minimum to just shoot with this. Compared to this where I could just take a bunch of photos and print the ones that are good. This one's I'm gonna take a bunch of photos. I don't know if they're good. Hopefully they are good and then I have to pay $20. So that's the bad news. But good news, we have the camera. I can take some photos. So, yeah. Smile. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.